Shear pins are an important device designed to safeguard your plunger pump from overpressurization. The pin is designed to shear when the predetermined force applied to the flanges are exceeded. This can occur when the pump is operated against a closed discharge valve or the discharge line is blocked. This chart offers a rough guideline on the recommended torque values of your Sludge Master plunger pump. Increased viscosities and other factors may require these values to be increased. The basic principle of operation is shown in this diagram. As the flange bolts are torqued, the flanges compress against the eccentric. If the discharge pressure exceeds the set torque value, the flanges will slip, causing the pin to shear and prevent the plunger from reciprocating or building additional pressure. To replace the shear pin, first ensure that the pump is drained and depressurized and confirm that all electrical connections to the pump have been locked out. First, remove the flange nuts. and slide the driven flange away from the eccentric. Observe the area for any abnormalities, then remove the shear pin and inspect the eccentric bushing for wear. Remove the motor guard to expose the fan. By rotating the fan, this will allow for precise adjustment and accuracy of hole alignment. Alternatively, a Stilson pipe wrench can be used to rotate the drive shaft at the drive hub. Using a flashlight, shine the light at the eccentric bushing and rotate the shaft until you see the selected pinhole is aligned. In this case, driving flange pin number 10 was selected. The 11 pin positions on the driving flange allow the operator to change the stroke length to achieve a specific displacement as shown in the sample chart. On this PE1142 model, pin number 10 was selected, which will give us a flow rate of 4.96 gallons per stroke. At a normal operating speed of 50 RPM, a flow rate of 248 gallons per minute will be achieved. Once the new shear pin is installed, slide back the driven flange, install the flange nuts, and torque the nuts to the required values. Then reinstall the fan guard.